In a study of over 100,000 women published just last week in the British Medical Journal, women on birth control and hormone replacement therapy were two to five times more likely to have a brain tumor known as a meningioma. The progesterone-based medications they studied are used by tens of millions of patients across the world each year. Given the enormous number of women who could be impacted by these findings, what could this mean for you? In this three-minute video, I'll give you my top three takeaways. So let's dive in. I've been cautioning my female patients for years about the dangers of progesterone-based medications and meningioma. Meningiomas are one of the more common types of brain tumor, but actually originate from the protective covering around the brain rather than the brain itself. Tumors tend to grow inward when they develop and can place pressure on the brain and cause havoc as a result. Thankfully, less than 2% are cancerous, meaning that a cure is often possible when they're found. They tend to be much more common in women, especially over the age of 65. So what does this have to do with birth control and why have I been warning my patients for years? Because most meningiomas contain progesterone receptors, which interact directly with the main component of many forms of birth control. Think of the receptors as locks that get opened by the progesterone key, in this case, unlocking meningioma growth. So do women need to be worried? Let's discuss the strengths and limitations of the study and what the data actually says. Only three of the nine specific progesterone-based medications that were studied were associated with meningioma. It's important to state that many birth control or hormone replacement medications do not contain one of these three forms of progesterone and may be safer because they do not interact with meningiomas in the same way that can cause growth. Equally important was the finding that intrauterine devices or IUDs were not associated with a risk of meningioma. IUDs typically release hormones locally and may not reach high enough concentrations in the brain to feed these tumors. Meningiomas in women less than 45 were much rarer, with only one case reported in a woman less than 35. While the study mostly included women aged 45 to 65, the relative rarity of tumors in younger women, the same younger women more likely to be on birth control, offers some reassurance. Even though women on progesterone-based hormone medications were more likely to have a meningioma, they were not at an increased risk of developing the cancerous form of the tumor. Most women develop benign forms of meningioma and underwent surgery to have them removed. Nevertheless, the study's findings suggest that a much larger slice of the female population could be at risk for these tumors when taking progesterone-based medications, and screening may be a good idea in certain high-risk cases, such as having a positive family history or having an underlying genetic disorder like type 2 neurofibromatosis. Always remember to consult your own doctor if you have questions and to obtain medical information from a medical professional and expert. Be well, and I'll see you next video.